There are countless websites that you can sell digital products on, but Payhip is coming in number one for me at the moment, and this is why. It's mobile friendly, it's completely free, it's less traction at the checkout section, which means more sales for you, and you can incorporate an order bump, which is a type of sales funnel, and it's completely free. In this free course, I'm going to go over how Payhip looks on mobile, how to upload to Payhip, and I'll give you a short walkthrough on how to set up an order bump. People charge thousands of dollars for courses just like this, but all I ask in exchange for this free education is for you to just tap that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to put out free courses just like this one to help you make money online. So this is what the storefront looks like on mobile, but if you give somebody a direct link to your product, it's going to look like this. So I just clicked on this product right here, and this is the product page. We have the image, we have the title right here, we have the price and the buy now button. And then down here, there's the description of what's inside. So when we click this buy now button, all they have to do is type in their email address and then their method of payment. So this is good because when there's less steps at the checkout page, people will go ahead and buy faster. So if they have to keep going through stuff so they can just buy your product, it's gonna slow the process down. And it might discourage some people from buying that product. So you want your checkout process to be as fast as possible. Another thing I wanna point out on this specific product page, there are no other products on this page. And just as a quick reference, let me go ahead to uh, fourth wall so you can see that. This is the product page for this calendar. I can't click on it to go to a specific page for this one product. So you can see right here, you can add it to your cart, but you'll also see products down here. But even when I add this to the cart, there's more steps. So I have to go and press checkout again. That's an extra step included. And then look, they have the contact information, which is good, we need that. And then this leave an optional message, you don't need that there. The billing address, and then we have to go and complete the order. It's just a lot more steps compared to Payhip. You want it to be as fast as possible, and that's why I like Payhip more than the fourth wall, honestly, right now. So Payhip is great for mobile because checkout is faster and your products will have a specific product page for each product, which is huge. So here's the pricing for Payhip. You can see right here, $0 per month, free forever, plus 5% transaction fees. However, you get all the features, unlimited products, and unlimited revenue. Another good thing about Payhip is this right here. When do I get paid? We will deposit your sales to you immediately after a transaction has been completed. Not quite the speed of light, but close. And this is good because sometimes you'll have $15 sitting in there and there might be an amount you have to make before they send that money to you. So there's no threshold with Payhip, which is great. How can your customers pay? Customers can pay with their PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, JCB, Discover, Diners Club, and more. So there's plenty of ways that people can get their money to you. So to get started with Payhip, you wanna go ahead and press this get started for free right here. Since I have an account, I'm going to log in. Once you log in, your back end is gonna look something like this. But if it doesn't, go ahead and set up your tax information so you can actually get paid. I believe that's the first thing I had to do. I had to set up my tax information. After you set up your tax information, or even if you wanna set that up later, let's go ahead and click on products right here. And this is where you wanna upload your product. So we can go and just press this add new product here. And we wanna select a digital product, but they do have other types of products that you can upload. So right here, files, upload your product files, all formats accepted. For us, we're gonna upload a PDF because I'm gonna be selling some type of ebook, okay? So right here, we just press upload product file. And this is the file that's going to be sent to your customers. So make sure you put the right file in there. So I'm gonna put this calendar in there right here. And then we need a title for the product. So I'm just gonna say make money all year calendar. I actually give this calendar away for free. So I'm just gonna put $5 for now, just for the sake of the video. Right down here, we have a uh, cover image that we can upload. So make sure you get a nice mock-up. I went on and created one a while ago because this is a product I already have. And on price, y'all, if you want to make a certain amount of money and you know that Payhip is taking 5%, just bump your price up a little bit so you can get the desired price that you want. So for example, if you want to make $15 on every sell, bump your price up to $16. I think the actual math is like $15.79, but that's weird. You don't want to put that as a price. So just bump it up to $16. If people are willing to pay $15, they're willing to pay $16. So be mindful of that transaction fee so you can still 
still get the amount of return you want to get. Once you have your desired price in there, make sure you have your nice mock-up. You want to add a description. You want to tell people why they want this product, but you also want to offer like a transformation. So this is something I said, you want to entice people to buy it. So I just said in the next six months, you can be where you are right now, trying to figure things out, or you could be making money, living your dream life. And the only difference of these two futures is $5. You want to add more use chat GPT. So if we would take this over to chat GPT and I can say, please make this better. It will make it better for me. And let's see what it does. Absolutely. Here's a polished version, compelling version. All right. I do like to add some pointers or something like that. So can you add bullet points? There we go. And you can add this to your product page right here. Make sure that these bullet points are something that's actually in that product that you're going to promote because you don't want to be false advertising out there. Okay. You don't need a double bullet point. As you see, there's a bullet point right here and a check mark. You don't need that. Just take one or the other. And what I'm doing is I'm deleting that bullet point and I'm just tabbing. I'm pressing the tab button to get that green check mark back over to the indention and you can double tab if you don't like where it's placed so I might actually double tab there we go so I will leave it right there they have the visibility option down here so visibility everybody can see the product if it's visible if it's invisible no one except you can see the product and if it's unlisted only people with the direct link to the product will see it it won't be listed alongside other products in your store. They also have these advanced options right here. If you wanna click any of these, go ahead and click them. And once you get done, once everything's in there the way you need it to be in there, let's go ahead and let's just press this add product button. So this is our product page link. We can click that right here or we can just go ahead and show me my product page. So cool, this looks pretty good y'all. And this is what it's gonna look like on web. Let's go ahead and check mobile. I'm gonna go back to the shop area so we could see it in there. Okay, cool, that looks really good. We have two products in there now. I'm gonna click on the make money all year calendar and we can see this looks good, y'all. It was as simple as that. So this looks really good and you're ready to start selling your products, but let me go ahead and show you how you can incorporate this order bump so you can make more money. But keep in mind to do this, you will need two products in your store. All right, so let's go over to the marketing section here. And what you want to go to is this upgrade option right here. This right here is a description for it. Encourage buyers of one product to purchase other products with a special discount. So let's go ahead and press this add upgrade. Step one says select a product below. When a customer has successfully completed a purchase for the product below, then the upgrade will be displayed. So let's say somebody gets this one and they get that for $5. And I say, you know what? Since you got that one, I want you to get this one for 75% off. Let's make it an irresistible deal, right? So step two says, when a customer successfully completed a purchase for Make Money All Year Calendar, then encourage the customer to buy other items with a special discount. Select the products below that you like customers to be prompted to also purchase. They have these advanced options right here. Upgrade discount should be restricted by a certain date. So there's a flexible date or you can do a fixed date. And then we can also have this customized message to show the customers who have the upgrade available. And then once everything's done, you just press add upgrade. So there you have it. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I do answer all of my comments. If you like this video, you might like this one. Listen, you can do whatever you put your mind to. Take care.